Well, it says you're live. I haven't got notification yet, though. There it is. We're live. All right. We're live. Ooh, this is making a mess. I should probably throw these away. <laughs> Look at us being unorganized. Oh, forget it. That's just some Boston powder. To get some uh, parchment paper so we can show you how to make that. All righty. And so today we are going to do this one. I think she glued it down. That's why it's not working. <laughs> She glued it down. She glued I'm, it down. I think I'm going to make it correct, but this is what we're making today. <laughs> I'm like, but why did she use the foam dot then? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, now we'll have two samples. Exactly. So, um, these are, um, what do they call them? Some scrub binders. <laughs> like they um they're not really wobbles but they like to do they like to move we have halloween ones and we have more christmas ones so these are actually in a bundle so if you i showed them on sunday if you like all of them and you like to do a little interactive cards um dancing I guess yeah, they're dancing. dancing stuff. Um, there is a ghost that dances. That's Halloween, and then we have um, a mummy, and then we have the Christmas guys along with a gnome that sits on a bobble. And she did. The gnome is not in a bundle, but the Christmas guys are. This gnome is sold separately, so we're gonna make them today, and. I have. She has done an embossed background for me, and gosh, you know, I didn't use the new one we have. No, she didn't. She used whatever was in the studio. Mm. Um, I don't know if you want to trim that a little bit, or do you want to do us a new one? I don't care. Well, I well, did she do the same one for the other one? Let's change it up. Yeah. All right. So here's all the pieces. So it's not like crazy number of pieces except that the stamp does not come with it and i'm not sure which stamp set she used but i'm sure we have it around here somewhere somewhere so i think we're going to start oh she started gluing one one together already oh isn't she sweet because you know i wouldn't have done that you know what I am missing? What are you missing? What we have talked about is um, the little feet. Little feet. Alright, well, I'm going to start with the bow. I have to cut you some feet. Hmm. I know, crazy. And so. My favorite embossing folder. So there's the center of the bow, and then you have the two bows, and I am going to just do a little bit of gluing. So basically I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here, and then I'm going to overlap, and I'm going to put some ice for a second, and that's it. Um, I'm going to just add a little bit more glue right there. And 
Catherine asked what the boat eye comes in. The boat comes with this guy. It's right there. So it's you cut this twice, and then you have the center of um, the bow, along with, and then you cut the two tails, which I, or you could do the tails with no tails, but the tails just really add a lot of extra. So then I am going to, so this guy, even if you don't like the little gnomey guy, it has a great bow. Sorry, I'm shaking the tape a little bit. And Just die cutting. I'm gonna. Joni did. Let's see how she did that one. I'm gonna do one. Just a little bit further down. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. And maybe I can pick it up with my fingers. <laughs> sorry, Chris. <laughs> Making her dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm shaking the table. <laughs> All right, so there's that cute bow. I hope you get. I don't think I get ink on my fingers. I haven't even touched anything yet. Oh, the bow has ink on it. I don't think that is from the bow. The brown? Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing there. <laughs> All right, so we made the bow. And now let's make, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the Holly Jolly onto the, uh, and this is just glitter paper. And I'm just adding the dots on the back. Are you gonna hand me that uh, trimmer over there? Not that one. The dress my craft one's right there. Underneath here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're not even looking at it. <laughs> Where do you see this? I don't see it. Alright, so I'm just adding little dots of glue here. Um, I really like this glue because it does dry pretty bad. And I'm going to put that down on top of my circle. Pretty mat? Yeah. I mean, I guess if you look at it closely, it looks a little closer. A little bit of time to hear it there, here and there. All right, don't I cut your shoes? Yeah, I don't see any shoes, and I really think you probably need some shoes. And then they don't, she just cut them out of black. Okay. They are layered, but we decided that um. They don't necessarily have to be layered. They could be just this, unless you want to do it two colors, which would totally be fine too. If you want to do gray and um, black. All right, so we have, I can't hold anything, evidently. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the little top on my ornament just so that, because it's in the glitter, that it um, has time to, to dry before I start making and messing with it again. <laughs> Christine says that even if we don't learn anything from these videos, not you guys are very entertaining. <laughs> Thank you. Angela says, Hey, hello, Nomies. We call it the Wrecking Ball Gnome in Ohio. <laughs> I have heard that. I have heard that. All right. So um, then this is the part that makes him swing. And um, you can, depending on how long you need to make it, I'm not going to put this on until I make my gnome. Because I want him. Which dies are the feet? Can we show you? So that one? Um, those are the, this is the feet. Let me show. So she has pulled off those that are the feet. And then these are the layers of the feet. And it looks like it includes the nose in there too. 
Do you have a nose? I have a nose. She made me a nose. <laughs> right here. And she even did a little pink ink blending on it, so it'll be a pink nose. Interesting. I know, I know. Okay, so the hat is fun because it also um, cuts in so that we can slide the beard in. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue there. And this way, if you wanted to add And then I'm going to add a little bit of dot. Do you need a dot? No, I got it. <laughs> oh, I do need a dot though for the the wrecking ball. <laughs> um, I lost my nose. <laughs> Did you face. not just see? I just showed it. You just showed it. There it is. I put it over <laughs> here on this blue piece of paper. So I wouldn't lose it. And I lost it. Alright, so we're going to make his nose stand up. Angela says, yes, thank you. She's on the road to recovery. Oh, good. Somebody asked for that because I was thinking now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Christine did. <laughs> I wasn't sure whether you asked it or... <laughs> I just said it just uh, just in case. Yeah, I was just thinking it. And I'm like, well, I uh, don't know if anybody... How many people follow Angel from our group? I know Christine does. All right, so I'm just going to add, there we go. Whew, that was more difficult than it needed to be. And then we have his arms. And um, I'm going to look to see. How did they, oh, they make it look like he is holding on to the wire. The wire. I'm going to add just a little bit of glue behind here. The sidekick shakes, shakes the table less. Oh. I need to do a little more sideways, I think. There. There we go. All right. There's that. And... Now let's put his arms on. And I'm like, I'm trying to see. I'm going to move this way. I really am like struggling picking things up today. No, you're not using a pickup tool. I know. I need to. Oh, that is not the one. So, um, let's see, we got in a new company. Um, so for those of you that may like Pretty Pink Posh, they finally opened up wholesale for us. We had requested a wholesale account with them, oh, several years, a couple years, maybe at least a year ago, maybe a little longer. Um, and they finally emailed and said they were looking for somebody to sell their product in the Phoenix area. So we have their new release. We'll be sharing that on Sunday. Um, go. I'm going to add just some mittens on. And... Are we not, is there no, no, no sound? 
No, I can hear you. Okay. We're good. Okay. All right, I switched to cellular, so hopefully it's back up and going over here. Okay. Can hear you just far away. What the heck? Your mic's not on. That's why they can't hear you. Oh, I thought you turned it on for me. I did not. <laughs> there you go. Can you hear better now? <laughs> Very far away, yep. Yeah. It's because it's picking up on my mic. <laughs> All right. Is that better? Better? Woo! That was fine. <laughs> okay. So, we have our bow. All right. And can I have the feet? Mm -hmm. Did you glue them together? Mm -mm. Hmm. I don't know how they go. You have them, right? Yeah, they're right here. Right. I was just trying to find the... You, know, you stole the pickup tool. That's why. I needed it. Sam is, uh, there. So, there's your feet pieces. We've got heel. So, the, we did the lighter color for the base, and then we did black for um, the dimensional pieces, or the shadow pieces, or whatever you want to call them. So... look right. It's got to be this one. It's got a little bit of glue on the back of that, so it's giving me a lot of trouble. It is. It is, and it's not. It's very difficult to see for me. All right. I don't know. It well, it doesn't look like it's straight on their packaging either. Oh, good. Because I'm like, this doesn't work. It looked like this. And it looks like their heel overlapped a little bit on the top piece. All right. Well, I'm overlapping the bottom piece. The other, no. Down. It, you're right. It was the other way around. Okay. So we're good? Okay. All right. There's our two feet. I'll bring them up to the camera. We don't need the nose. So there you go. You can see how it just adds a little whimsy. All right. Yep. He's looking pretty cute there. There he goes. So. Christine's so stinking adorable. All right. So there he is. He's ready to now start moving. So. I need a cart. You got it. Oh, she did it on gray. It so did. This is, we just got this on and showed it on Sunday. 
Argyle socks. Argyle socks. Probably my favorite embossing folder currently. I've used it on so many projects. <laughs> All right. It's just so pretty. And then I'm using the circles and I'm using the thick ones. In fact, I might even double it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I would. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the back of my bow. And I am going to do two of them just so that he has a lot of room to wiggle. If you're mailing these, I wouldn't necessarily do that. stuck to my fingers. All right, and then um, I do almost want to use my powder tool around the edge, but I, just I need that. to put this back on, otherwise it's not going to stick. And I didn't line them up perfectly. You did not. Oh, <laughs> it's a pull off, not to myself. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there we go. Don't twist, pull. This one is a twister, not a puller. <laughs> I don't think you've used that one that much. <laughs> this one is a puller, not a twister. All right. I'm just adding a little bit of a, um, powder around the tool edge. All right. So I have that there. We're going to take and put the circle right there. So see, that way it can still move. It's not going to stick. You have so much powder on here. All right. See, I'm just going to clean off my powder so, it just, so this sticks. So I'm just going to hold this in place. Magic hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs uh You probably want to put some adhesive on your bow, though. I had this stuff. Uh, yeah, but it's it needs a little bit more than that to hold it. Uh, all right, if you say so. I'm just like the wings. The wings? All right. Yeah, I would use the squares. They're easier to use. Unless you don't want, <laughs> I'm just a, unless you don't want easy. Yeah, I do want easy. It sounds like we just got a delivery. I know. I haven't caught up from Monday. All right, so I have that, and yeah, today was Taylor's first day of school, eighth grade. Oh my gosh! Do you realize when I signed the lease for this place, she was two days old. She is now 13 and asked me for a job on Monday. And I was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So when you put the adhesive on there, you put it as far away from the dot as you could so that it had room to swing, correct? Correct. That is exactly what I did, but you know what? I want to untake these off. You know why? Because I didn't stack them good, and they're getting stuck. Well, stack them. Oh, you you stack, stack them. them. <laughs> you stack them. All right. So then he's going to be on the tree, flying around. Won't that be so cute? I can't wait until I get this. I can show you how it really moves. Okay. Do you think I need... I'm going to add just a little bit of the powder around the edges while I still have both the... Does he have powder on his feet? Yeah, he does. <laughs> you want to wipe him off while I do this? Wipe off his feet? Kind of looks like snow. <laughs> Kind of. Might be fun to put some embossing powder on there. All right, so I'm Make adding. it look like he was dashing through the snow before he, uh... Okay, so Sam definitely layered those two better than I did. And then I'm going to take off the backing pieces, maybe. Maybe, I say. Boom. She 
just gonna once it. Look at that. So see, swinging. Oh yeah, stuck on the. <laughs> <laughs> You were just trying to swing it. I was having fun. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is... It needs a bit of glue there because when I pulled the other one off, I pulled the paper. So no. I'm a mess. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I'm just a mess today. All right. I'm going to go ahead and lay him down. I'm going to hold it up so that when I put my holes there I am not straight I'm I'm straight I'm just not quite centered oh but look he moves so he this is the proper way for him to swing on your card and Sam is gonna do something here oh she's gonna add a little bit of powder behind there so he doesn't stick so bad Oh, there you go. So she just took the powder tool and put, look how cute that is. That wasn't so hard. I think, yeah, maybe if you put your happy holidays and make it look like you meant to put it off center, it'll be fine. Yeah, but I can't put it, I gotta put it like this because it's a little bit lower. All right, and then it's going flat. As flat as possible there. Holly jolly happy holidays. So, there we go. So cute. Now, how many of these would you make? Well, this one actually doesn't have that many pieces to cut. I think that the most, once you figure it out, the proper places to put things, I think I could make quite a few of these cards. I could make 10 or 12. But how fun. And there are, um, so the other designs do the same thing. So we got reindeers and snowmen and Santa that all dance. And you can see that they all have little holes in there for you to put their dancing legs. We also have a ghost and a mummy. Um, these do come in a bundle for $42.99. So that is, saves you about 10%, I want to say. Um, or you can buy them individually if you say, oh, no, I'm only going to make that reindeer this year. Or, nope, just going to do the Santa. Um, the words, Dear Santa, is a separate die set. So is that Merry Hugs and Winter Cheer, and we do have those in stock. So, there we go. That's what we have for you today. I think my hand's a little funky. I might have a broken wrist. <laughs> it took a lot for him to get on there. <laughs> It did. It was a lot of work to get up on that bubble. So, there we go. How how fun is that? I'd buy this out just for the bow. I know the bow is adorable. If you don't, even if you don't want to make it go swingy swing, you can just do the bow. <laughs> Look how cute! <laughs> oh, Laura's watching. And Tammy. Oh boy, we got quite the crew today. <laughs> all right so um there we have it um remember we are doing a drawing for if you got your email or click the post on facebook we are doing a drawing for two free tickets to expo so um if you haven't purchased a ticket or if you want to take your chances and see if you can go for free we're giving away um two two packs so basically you and a friend Time two, so two people and two people can go <laughs> for free on us. Okay, so um, anything else I need to remember? No. Um, also beat the heat. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up. So that Saturday we'll be opening a little earlier, and you'll get your best discount before those opening hours. Um, all that information all is in the email is was in our email and also posted on our Facebook so with a link to the to the email because I know not everybody gets emails even though Eric was working on it it just doesn't always 
email service doesn't always go through. Okay, any comments we need to answer? No? Good? Good. All right, let us know if you need us to hold any of these projects for you or give us a call. We certainly appreciate you. Thank you all for watching today.